Do you feel like you're almost losing yourself amidst life's chaos? Ever feel that your happiness was depend on other people, your possessions, or the pursuit of certain goals? Imagine if you could find freedom and peace by just loosening your grip a little. This is where the art of detachment comes in. It's not about giving up joy or the things you treasure. It's about experiencing life to its fullest without the constant fear of loss. In this video, we're going to dive into the practice of healthy detachment, a journey towards personal empowerment and emotional freedom. If this is the first time you watch my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, by the way. Here, we weave together personal and spiritual growth with a motivational spark, often illuminating our discussions with a touch of science. It's all about unlocking your life's full abundance and stepping into your power. In the fierce grip of attachment, our emotions can often become hostages to what happens around us. Imagine this scenario. When friends, family members, or a spouse seem to ignore you, do you feel a pang of disappointment? When financial loss occurs, does anxiety cloud your mind? Or when criticism is thrown your way, do you feel a sting, as if your very worth is being questioned? And in moments when life veers off the path you had carefully planned, do you find yourself grappling with feelings of uncertainty and stress? These emotional tides are clear indicators of deep attachment, where external events significantly sway your inner peace. But there's a way to reclaim control of your feelings. That's detachment. Imagine finding a calm center within yourself. A steady core that remains undisturbed, no matter how stormy life gets around you. It's like Bruce Lee's philosophy of being like water. Flowing gracefully with life's events, adapting smoothly to each new shape and form, without desperately clinging to outcomes beyond our control. There is no need to overthink about all the problems and what may go wrong. Just flow like water. Detachment doesn't mean you won't feel sad, disappointed, or hurt anymore. Rather, it allows you to acknowledge these emotions without letting them define you or take the wheel of your life. It's about experiencing them, understanding them, and then gently releasing them, like watching leaves floating down a river, knowing that they are just part of the journey, not the destination. Our ego can often lead us into a trap, making us believe that happiness is tied to ownership and control. It convinces us that our identity and our worth are tied to what we have or who we're with, leading to endless cycles of worry, fear of loss, and a constant chase for more. In contrast, our spirit understands a timeless truth. That is, we arrive in this world with nothing. We leave with nothing. You don't need to own or possess to feel complete. You are already whole. Consider the beauty of a sunrise. We enjoy its splendor without worrying about losing it or wanting to own it. It arrives and departs in its own natural rhythm. Similarly, life's blessings often come to us in their own divine time, without the need for our control. We don't need to be trapped in fear or relentless desire. Like the sunrise, many aspects of life will flow to and from us naturally. Learning to appreciate and enjoy these moments without the pressure of owning them can bring a sense of freedom and joy. So, how can we begin the practice of detachment? Here are the key areas of our lives where practicing detachment can significantly enhance our sense of emotional freedom and well-being. Relationships are a significant emotional trigger for many of us. It's natural to have expectations, especially in relationships where we've invested deeply in terms of time, emotion, or even finances. There's a common belief that if a relationship faces challenges, our duty is to fix it. As we pour more of ourselves into the relationship, our expectations grow, seeking to balance the scales of give and take. But these expectations can become a source of turmoil 
especially when the response we get doesn't align with what we anticipated. It's natural to wonder, I've invested so much in this person, how can I not expect anything in return? Isn't that too naive? This is a common concern, but it's important to shift the focus back to the value you hold within yourself. Remember, your worth doesn't hinge on someone else's actions or the level of their reciprocation. You are inherently worthy. Constant validation from others is not a prerequisite for your value. The investment you make in a relationship should primarily be for the joy and growth it brings to your life, not for the expectations of returns. Detachment in relationships isn't about indifference or lack of care. It's about understanding and accepting that your emotional well-being is not entirely dependent on another person. How others treat you does not diminish or elevate your true worth. People come and go, and how they behave is a reflection of their choices and journey, not a measure of your worthiness. If it's the right person, they will find you and treat you with the respect and love you deserve, naturally and without your need to control or worry. True love allows space for each person to be their authentic self. It's about two souls meeting and complementing each other yet preserving their individuality. This detachment doesn't diminish the relationship. Rather, it fosters a healthier, more balanced and respectful connection where both individuals can flourish independently and together. Our past often holds a magnetic pull, keeping us stuck at old memories and emotions. It's easy to get lost in the feeling of regret, guilt, anger, or sadness over past events. But it's crucial to remember that the past is behind us and cannot be altered. Dwelling in negative feelings about past experiences doesn't contribute to a happier present or a better future. The things you didn't receive in childhood, the unfair treatment from others, the mistakes you made. These are all chapters of your story, but they don't define your entire book. Acceptance is the first step in detaching from the past. By accepting what has happened, you free yourself from the chains of regret and bitterness. It's about acknowledging your history, learning from it, but not allowing it to be the lens through which you view your entire life. Shifting your focus to the present is empowering. It involves appreciating what you currently have and finding joy in the now. It's about recognizing the blessings you might have overlooked, that the power to change lies in the present moment. This isn't about forgetting the past. It's about not letting it control your present and future. As you let go of the past's hold, you open yourself up to new possibilities and joys that are waiting for you right here, right now. Detachment from material possessions doesn't mean leading a life of extreme minimalism. It's about not letting these things take control over you. We inherit from our ancestors the instinct to compete for resources, a trait vital for survival in ancient times. Today, while most of us aren't struggling for survival, this instinct still drives us to relentlessly chase more money and possessions, often in the hope of finding security. You might find yourself pondering, can I really do anything without money? This mindset can lead to a paradox where health is compromised in the pursuit of wealth, which is then used to restore lost health. How often have we foregone precious moments with our loved ones, chasing monetary success with the hope of later spending it on quality time with them? Does this resonate with you? Don't let yourselves regret until it's too late. Detachment is not that you should own nothing, but that nothing should own you. We can actually enjoy material comforts without being consumed by the need for them. It's about breaking the cycle of endless comparison and realizing that in our modern world, true security comes not from accumulating more, but from appreciating what we already have. So, I invite you to pause and reflect. Is this pursuit genuinely enriching my life? The essence of real happiness comes from focusing on what truly adds value to your life, not just filling it with material things. In this realization, you find a deeper, more authentic form of happiness 
that resonates with your inner self. Think of detachment not as having less in life, but as a way to become more, to feel more. It's a path that leads to emotional freedom and a deeper, more satisfying life. By practicing detachment, you learn to enjoy life's variety without being shaken by every change. As you start practicing detachment, keep in mind that it's about living life to the fullest with open hands and heart, ready to both receive and let go, just like the natural rhythm of life's highs and lows. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for the notification. Because every week, I release a video like this, and also a few shorts for motivation and inspiration. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.